Today's recipe will be a wonderful and tasty Vietnamese jelly dessert. Go go cà phê lá dứa và nước dừa. This jelly dessert has three flavors: Vietnamese coffee, pandan, and coconut. For this recipe, you need some molds. I'm using a heart and flower shape. You can make the jelly any order you want. For the first layer, I'll be using coffee. For the Vietnamese coffee jelly, these are the ingredients you need. To make the jelly, you need about one cup of coffee. I'll be using this large size coffee filter instead of the regular size. Since I already have a video on a Vietnamese coffee, I won't be showing the whole process of making it. You can click on the link to watch the video. Okay, to make the black coffee, add in the ground coffee and pour in hot water. Wait for it to drip. Once you have one cup, pour it into a saucepan. Add in one teaspoon of agar agar powder. Add in about two teaspoon of vanilla sugar or to taste. Mix well. When you see it's evenly mixed, remove from heat. Using a tablespoon, evenly divide it into the mold. Then wait for the jelly to set. Next layer will be cafe sữa, which is Vietnamese coffee with condensed milk. Same thing with the last step. Add in about two to three tablespoons of condensed milk, or to taste. Let it drip, mix well, and pour it into a saucepan. Add in one teaspoon of agar agar powder. Let it simmer when it's evenly mixed in with the coffee. Remove from heat. Use a tablespoon to evenly divide it into the mold. Remember to make sure the first layer is semi-set before you pour in the next layer. If you prefer to have only one layer of coffee, you can choose either cafe sữa or cafe đen. Moving on to the next layer, you need one cup of coconut milk. Add it into a saucepan. Tie two pandan leaves into a knot like this, and then put it into the saucepan with the coconut milk. Add in two to three tablespoons of sugar or to taste. Bring it to a simmer. Add in one teaspoon of agar agar powder. Mix well, then remove the pandan leaves and remove from heat. Divide it evenly into the mold to make the coconut layer. For the last layer, I'll be using pandan flavor. To make the pandan juice, add in three chopped pandan leaves, then add in one and a half cup water. Blend and strain out the juice. Take one cup, pour into a saucepan. Add in one teaspoon of agar agar powder. Add in about two tablespoons of sugar or to taste. Bring it to a simmer and remove from heat. Divide it evenly into the mold. Once you're done, put the jelly in the fridge to set. The best mold to use is silicone since it's easy to remove the jelly. Remove it from the mold, and you should have three to four layers of Vietnamese jelly like this. I hope you have fun making this Vietnamese jelly dessert. Thank you so much for watching.